so we're starting out at Karting Las Americas, which is on the roundabout by Fania Bay. This is the village of Fania Bay and not the coast of Fania Bay. I'll do a drive around there soon. This is a brand new road that they built between the motorway and La Caleta and Del Duc. It's got a beautiful new cycleway right on the side. I've never seen anybody use it though. Coming up on the left is the Melia Jardinas del Teide. So turning down towards the coast now, on the right we've got the Baobab Suites. And behind that is the Plantation del Sur. It's a Hotel Vinci Selección. And down on the left, we've got the Grand Hotel Bahia del Duque Resort. You won't see it now, but you probably see it when we come back up. There's the plantation in front of you now. And as we come round the corner, you'll see the Iburostar Grand El Mirador, very posh hotel. Never been in. Try to get a job there, but I wasn't good enough. So this building in front of you now is the same as the whole complex, the Mirador. And um, when we get round the corner, you'll see an area called El Beril. And then we'll come up past the new shopping centre on the right. You won't see that now, I don't think, but you'll see it on the way back. So here's the world famous Tiggy's bar on the right and a supermarket. And on the left is the Ovima Altamira and the uh, Hotel Rio Palace Tenerife. So coming up on the left is San Sebastian Catholic Church and right next to that is a shopping centre with quite a few bars and restaurants and coffee shops in but um, I don't think a lot of them are open at the moment. If you carry straight on down here you get to La Caleta. We're going to turn in here. Right in front of you is the H10 
uh, where all the COVID stuff started. That's where the Italian doctor was uh, diagnosed with COVID and the whole hotel had to be locked down. That was the, the first one that ever happened, so. Right in front of you, that building that looks like a ship, is the Royal Hideaway Coral Suites. And as we turn down towards the beach, is the Playa de la Enramada by La Caleta, and the Kokoluki Beach Bar, which is where all the paragliders land. And those of you who have watched the live from the MacMaster will know um, as I'm recording this, I'm going to do, I'm going to record him this afternoon, so I don't know whether he's splatted or not. As long as he didn't splat, then I'll link it up in the corner there. Here's another view of that uh, shopping centre with a nice fish restaurant down the bottom and a burger restaurant up the top. And behind there is one of our favourite bars called the Cafe 7, which does fish and steak and wine. It's an Italian place that does uh, gelato and also fantastic coffee. Uh, we're going to turn in now to where we used to stay, which was the Sheraton La Caletta. And since we used to stay there, they've built this thing across the road, which is like a professional tennis club and what have you. So if you're a great and avid tennis player, you can do that. There's the Ryu from another angle, and it's just over the Barranco. If you walk down the side there, you get to the Maritime Walkway, and you can walk all the way to Los Cristianos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications. So here's a reverse view of the El Beryl complex and on the left up the hill there is the plantation and we're coming back down towards the Mirador del Duque and you'll see the new shopping centre on the left and if you're a spa spotter then uh, there's your spa. So we're coming down now towards the uh, shopping centres and the old 
Fania Bay Market. So on the left you got the Adeji Gran from GF, I think it is. And on the right is the back end of the Victoria. So uh, we're going to turn right down here towards Del Duck and have a, have a little look around there. So the market's right in front of you now. And the Duke shop's on the left. Uh, in the distance there, we'll come back to that. So this is the first view of Del Duc Plaza. It's a round shopping centre with three floors. Shops on the top floor, shops and restaurants on the ground floor, and in the basement there's more shops and more restaurants. Uh, we're going to take a little turn around here. On the right, as you can't see it just now, is the Victoria. And on the left is the Grand Takandi Wellness and Relax Costa Adeje. Looks very posh. And there's a golf course at the back of it, I believe. I don't know who that belongs to. Maybe the Hotel Bahia Del Duc Resort. Who picks this music? If you get dizzy, look away now, because we're going to swing round this roundabout all the way round. Whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, there it is, the uh, Adeji Gran and the Del Duc complex. Looking back there, up the hill. Some nice uh, restaurants on the right as well that are quite new. Car park on the right is the uh, Fanny Bay Market and the, um, the GF Fanny Bay. On the left is the Duke Shops, which we come to later, and the GF Isabel. Uh, the market is closed until further notice, I believe. So we're going to turn right down here. Uh, on the right, as you can't see, it is the Parc del Sol. And right in front of you is the Jardines de Nivaria, one of the hotelers groups. The same group as the one in um, Playa Paraiso, I believe. So as we go down towards the Del Duc Plaza, we're going to pass the Ibero Star Antilia, which is a super posh hotel. Money de corazón la plata no te hace ser feliz ella es de corazón de corazón la plata no te hace ser feliz money work el mundo quiere dinero So this is another entrance to the Del Duc Plaza. As I say, it's a circular shopping center. It's quite posh, so don't expect to get too many bargains there. Um, but if you're looking for quality, that's the place to go. Beautiful view of the Victoria, and look at that swimming pool coming out at the edge.
So we're going to turn down towards the beach now and the Del Duck shops. Um, if you turn left from down here, you're going to end up at the Winchester, Fanny Bay and um, Torviscus beaches. And to the right are the Del Duck beaches, El Beryl and La Caleta. There are many stories about this castle and it was built in the early 30s and the Rafael Puig Luviana family developed Costa Adeci and they invented Playa de las Americas and with his son Santiago he created all the Park Santiago complexes. It's been a family home since the early 60s. They wouldn't take uh, my card here, so I had to go and park somewhere else. Yet another entrance to the Plaza del Duc. As I said, it's got some nice restaurants in the middle there and uh, in the basement also. So we're going to go back up to the main road now, park up, and I'll show you around the Duke shops. Enjoy the view of the Victoria as we go around the corner. This is my GoPro on a gimbal on a very long selfie stick. Looks like a drone, doesn't it? So in this shopping centre is the entrance to the Hotel El Duque and there are quite a few restaurants. There's a cafeteria sort of cocktail bar down here and up the top there is a Chinese or Taiwan restaurant, an Indian, Bombay Babu, a steakhouse and an Irish bar. Here's Christina looking like a bandit. I'm going to try something now. Try a low shot. Let's see if it works. If you get dizzy, look away. 
So about 50% of the cafes and restaurants on the bottom at the front here are open. Here's a ice cream parlor, but we're gonna go right to the far end and we're gonna sit in the San Marco Pizzeria. Just a quick warning, we're gonna go low again now. Mm, yeah. He's making me jump from high ground, keeps catching me every time I fall. He got me safe inside. This is the pizzeria, but they do other stuff as well, uh, not just pizzas, and they do cocktails and wine and beer. Very nice. Now a quick trailer done with my gimbal. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.